Hello fellow 3D enthusiast, my name is Ian, and today I thought I'd share with you how to use Blender to make yourself disappear. So before we hop into Blender, I'd like to make a few notes about what kind of footage you probably want to use. First of all, the biggest thing is I'm using a locked off tripod shot here, there's no camera movement going on. Second of all, I've got manual focus enabled. So there's no autofocus going back and forth and trying to figure out where to focus. Third and final, I have a relatively consistent light source going on here. There's no clouds or anything outside. If we have changes in the light, that can kind of mess things up a little bit. But with all that mentioned, this is a really easy effect to do. So I can probably share it with you pretty quickly here. All right, so with a new Blender scene open here, actually what I'm gonna do is get a newer Blender scene open. So I'm gonna go up to File, New, and use this video editing setting. And that just sets us up with a really nice layout for video editing. So what I'm gonna do now is go Shift A and add in a movie. And there's a couple of videos here we have to have. So first of all, we just have this one with me talking. And then if we add in another one, I'm also going to use a different clip that just doesn't have me in it, and everything else is exactly the same as it was. So if we just get rid of these two audio tracks, I'm going to select them with the left mouse button, and shift and select the other one. Hit X to just delete those, get them out of our way. This top clip here is the empty one with nothing there, and if we hide it, you can see I appear there. So that's pretty cool. If we just want this effect to take place immediately, what we can do is go to the point where we want it to fade out. And then just with the opacity, if I hit I, that will keyframe it. And then just go to a little bit before that. I'm just moving the cursor by holding shift and hitting the right mouse button. But if we go a little bit further, we can just turn down the opacity so that you can't see the top layer at all. And then we can just hit I once more. And that just animates it. So we've got a couple of keyframes in here. If we just scroll through, you can see I just disappear. So that's the basics of the effect. If we want to go a little bit more advanced, there's ways we can clean up the footage if the two clips aren't exactly the same. If we look real closely here, you can see things move a tiny bit in the background. So one thing we might want to do to fix that is actually add a mask around the main character here. And I'm just going to do that by going plus up here, down to visual effects, and masking. Now here we got a couple of windows we don't really need, so I'm just going to collapse these. And then up here, if you just hit open, we can open this footage once more, and it looks pretty well synchronized. So what I'm going to do now is add in a mask just around me so that this over here and over here can remain the original footage so it doesn't really change at all. So we can see here on the timeline our two original keyframes that just change the opacity of the mask. And we don't need anything over here, so I'm just going to start on this frame. And we're in the mask editor, so if we hold down control and drag the mouse, we can see that just adds a handle. And I'm going to go like this, add another one there, and maybe another one here, one down there. And just by doing this, we can draw in some handles, get some nice control over the way things are going to shape. At the end here, when you want to close the mask, you can hit Alt-C. And then another thing we're probably going to want to do is feather it a little bit. So if we go to one handle here and hit Control and Shift, and then just drag that out a little bit with the left mouse button, That'll just add some softness to the outside of the mask. Okay, so we got the mask, we got some feathering. The next issue we might run into is if I move outside of that, which you can see my hand is doing here. So to fix that, we can just hit the keyframes button down here. So auto keyframes are enabled. And if we just grab some handles here, everything's in frame right now. So if we just go G, that's good. If we move over to where my hand appears, we're going to want to expand the mask a little bit so that that is inside it. So we can just go like this. Nice. How's that look? Pretty good. My knuckle goes out of it a little bit here, so we can just do that. There. We'll just say this is the end because we could do this for a long time. So I'm going to go playback and set end frame. That'll be the end of it. So let's actually apply this mask here. If we go back to the video editing tab, basically what we're going to want to do, if we unhide the top strip with Alt-H, as we kind of want to cut this footage so that it's just the shape of the mask. So if we go over to modifiers down here with this top clip selected, I'm going to go add strip modifier, mask, and then set that to be mask once more, and then just select the mask that we had. So you can kind of see what's going on here with this mask. We probably want this to actually be the clip showing through. So if we go back to strip up here and change this from cross to be alpha over, we get our original clip back and it's just a little bit being added on top here. And if we just play through the animation, you can see it working. Now this technique of just using the clean plate where you need it 
really helps when you're outside and there's like trees moving and stuff and the light is a little bit different. I can just help with glitches in the vanishing effect and help them to be a lot less noticeable. But there we go, we've pretty much got our final result here. If you found this tutorial useful and you'd like to see more visual effects tutorials like it, there's a link in the description and when you click that and type in your email, that'll sign you up for my email list and every week I just send out an email update with the latest Blender tutorial. And to kind of sweeten the deal here for you, I'll immediately send you a bonus tutorial, and in that tutorial I share 5 tips that'll help you to seamlessly integrate CG objects into live action footage. Now this tutorial can be really helpful for people interested in learning visual effects, so if you're up for it, give it a shot! But other than that, I hope you have an excellent day, and cheers!